up everybody so we're back out in the shop with another daily vlog and guys it's time to start working on the handle scale material so this is a two-day process for me one day process for you <laughs> um, we are making the handle scales for the knife that is in this oven tempering right now so of course I had to start these the day before so that they could cure overnight glued together so that I can then glue them onto the knife tomorrow now like I said, this is all going to be one day for y'all, but it's two days for me. We're going to go ahead, get these knocked out while that knife is tempering for yesterday's episode. Yeah, a little bit of time travel, but we're going to get this, like I said, knocked out. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about why I chose this and get it put on. Right here, we want to go ahead and sand each piece where they're actually going to meet up so where they're going to be epoxy together just to make sure that there's actually a roughed up surface and they're not super smooth that way we get a good mechanical bond when we're epoxying the two pieces together now let's go ahead let's get our epoxies poured out here I am the biggest offender of putting too much or pouring out too much epoxy. Whenever I actually start using something like J Flex or something like that, I will probably get a little scale so that I can do it to where. I'm not wasting anything and I know the measurements are exact. That'd be a little overkill on this uh, JB Weld. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some clamps. Of course, typically you want to have your clamps before you uh, decide to go ahead and mix your epoxy, especially when you're using a five minute epoxy, but I still have plenty of time here. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is just apply a thin coat over the whole entire handle scale. This does not need to be a thick coat. The reason why I say it does not need to be a thick coat is because you're going to end up squeezing a lot of that out. You just need enough to create a bond. Whenever I go to clamp these down, I'm not going to be clamping it very hard. It's just going to be enough to apply pressure and get rid of any gapping. Voila, give you a close up. So there you go right there. Super simple. Again, with what I'm doing here, the whole point is to just make handle scales that are just thick enough to end up being this thick when it's all said and done like i said this is not a very thick handle get some light over here it's not a very thick handle 
by any means. But it feels good in the hand. So I am going to try and go with something as simpler as that as possible. Plus, we need it to be able to fit in that sheath. And that's about as thick as this sheath will allow us to use when it comes to the handle. So there you go. We'll go ahead, we'll let these dry, and then uh, we'll come back with this tomorrow or for y'all here in about three seconds. So right here, we're just taking a 100 grit ceramic belt and we're just smoothing the bottoms. And we're doing two things. We're smoothing them and roughing them up at the same time because these were still shiny and still were really smooth. What we're doing here is we are just removing any excess epoxy that might have got underneath them and roughing them up a little bit so the epoxy, whenever we do the glue up, does have a good mechanical bond. And then we're squaring up the sides just a little bit. I am going to end up clamping these together and squaring them again. But this is just removing, like I said, any excess epoxy so that we can do that step. And right here, we're going to go ahead and get the two scales taped together with just some double-sided tape. This makes it a lot easier whenever we go to cut them out and drill the holes and do all those steps. This is a good little trick if you are wondering what to do. A lot of people use the tape and super glue method, but this is very easy. Now we're going to clamp the knife to the scales, but we're going to leave an area open for the front two pinholes so that we can drill those through. Right here we are using a 3 16 drill bit to drill the primary pin holes. And we're going to drill the two front holes, put pins in those so that we can then drill the last hole. We'll put a pin in it so that we can then drill the quarter inch lanyard hole. Now we want to get the handle scales marked out. For where we're going to end up cutting and marking them out like this makes it a lot easier to figure out where we're going to be shaping the ricasso back to where we're going to be shaping the area that's going to meet the ricasso so the front of the handle scales Now it's time to go ahead and get it cut off on the bandsaw. And I am going to be cutting off pretty much all of the excess on this. I know sometimes I leave a little bit and sand it back, but G10 is about as messy as my Carta to work with. So I'm just going to cut off as much of it as possible so I don't really have to worry about sanding back to the steel nearly as much. Now it's time to go ahead and shape the front of the scales where they're going to meet the ricasso and I'm using a 100 grit belt to do this. We're going to flatten it and then start rounding some of the edges to make them to where again they are completely done. You don't want to have to mess with this step whenever you've already glued the scales 
onto the knife. And for the finish work, we're going in with a 220 grit, then we're going to go up to a 360 grit, and I'm actually going to leave it at the 360 grit. I don't need to go any further than that. I do like this part with the G10 because this stuff sands very smooth and it's real easy to get any scratches out of. Now it's time to go ahead and get these epoxy onto the knife. So we're just mixing our two part JB Weld epoxy. And I am gonna put a little bit in the holes themselves so that whenever you push the pin through, you know that there's gonna be plenty of epoxy in the holes. And then we're just putting a light coat. We don't wanna put a ton on there because then you end up with a lot of squeeze out. I want to minimize the amount of squeeze out as much as possible because it makes the cleanup a lot easier. You do want to make sure that the pins are even on either side so you don't accidentally glue it and then one pin is recessed or something like that. You just want to pay attention to what you're doing while you're doing it. And then of course, take some acetone and clean off any of the excess epoxy that did squeeze out. So you don't have to do that later when it's dried. All right guys, let's go ahead and wrap up today's daily vlog with a little bit of that. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Uh, can't really see much because it's covered in clamps <laughs> and the handle scales are black. So, yeah, no, no, that's, that's pretty true. And uh, you can at least see a little bit of the blue right there. And I know that you won't be able to see much until we take the clamps off, start shaping them and doing things like that. But you can get a nice little view of the clamps and then this beautiful blade. Uh, guys, you know, we're doing some stuff that's a little bit different with this. And I'm excited to see how it turns out with the way that we're having the handle go into the finger choils and having the lantern hole at the bottom of the handle and just going with that thickness of handle scales versus the thicker ones. I'm excited about doing this knife and hopefully y'all are too. I, I really wish that the epoxy was literally five minute epoxy because I want to start shaping those handles right now. I want to see what it looks like but I know I have to wait till tomorrow and uh, if I wait the two hours that it would take for me to actually be able to work with this. It'd be like 2.30 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. So don't really need to do that. Need to go in there and get some sleep. Guys, hopefully y'all got some awesome takeaways from this. And uh, if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And if you would, go down this bottom corner right... No, no, that's a knife. That's a knife too. Go right there. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified for when we start shaping this thing right here. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending y'all's time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.